Wolves have had the worst start of any team so far this season, sitting rock bottom of the Premier League table. And with star man Pedro Neto joining Chelsea this past summer for £54 million, Gary O'Neill's men haven't won a game. And that's where we come in, guys, as we look to take Wolves out of the relegation zone and aim to lift not only the Premier League title, but also the Champions League trophy. We've got a big task on our hands here at Wolves, but let's kick things off with Season 1 and see if we can try and improve Wolves and get them back to where they want to be. So for this Wolves rebuild, we're going to go for the wing play tactical preset. And we're going to run a 4-3-3 with a cam as the attacking option. We're going to try and use the wings as much as possible in this rebuild. And I've also gone for the attacking at 4-3-3 because I want to get a center attacker mid into the team and have two central midfielders in behind. And as you can see on screen, that is the team that we've got at the moment. Obviously, there are players that we want to improve and try and upgrade. We've got about £45 million to work with. And I've also got a couple of players that I want to try and sell. So that is the team for now we're going to dive into some transfers now to try and improve this squad we have been busy on some outgoings guys as you can see Huang Hee Chang, Semedo, Doggerty have all gone out on permanent deals Andre we loaned out to United for one season as well we've gathered some money together to try and build up the transfer budget for season one and now we are sat on a cool 73 million pounds to spend in season one obviously I want to go out and get a new striker left winger right back and maybe a centre back is what I'm kind of planning on trying to do and maybe a new goalkeeper as well because obviously we've got Sam Johnson and also Jose Saar who I'm probably not going to use but those are the areas that we're trying to improve on but we've got 73 million to spend a lot of money for season one so hopefully we can spend it wisely we have made our first signing of this Wolves rebuild it is going to be a new centre back it's going to be a left sided centre back from PSG Lucas Baraldo has come in for 22.5 million pounds like I said he's going to be playing on the left side of the two centre backs 20 years of age, 22.5 million pounds spent. Really happy with this pickup. 77 overall and he's only 20 years of age. I think he's going to be a really good player for us. We are really in the thick of these transfers already and we have signed our second player of the Wolves rebuild. It's a new central midfielder going to slot next to Joao Gomez. Timber has joined from Feyenoord for 28 million pounds. He's going to slot straight into central midfield. 23 years of age, 79 overall, 28 million pounds spent. He's got overall really good stats and I thought it'd be a really good pickup because he's going to really develop in the seasons to come which is obviously what we want to do so then guys just the two new transfers for season one i don't want to overspend and i don't want to bring in too many players in season one but this is going to be your lineup for the first season with this wolves rebuild johnson and goal lima bueno Baraldo, nori are the back line timmer and gomez alongside each other and then cunha is going to be in front then we've got forbes gomez and larson as the attacking front three this will be the team for season one i'm going to try and hopefully get a mid table finish or around there you know between 10 to 15 obviously hoping to try and finish as high as we can would love to get a little cup run for season one but that is the team obviously i'm trying to keep it so i don't want to sell too many players or change many players in season one so that is the team for season one let's get in to the first season of this wolves rebuild so then guys we have come to the end of season one with wolves we have finished 15th in the premier league and we did get 43 points this season so we were like 10 points off from getting relegated so the first season with wolves i mean it's a massive improvement compared to their real life performances where they're sat rock bottom but we definitely have a lot of work to do with this team if we want to try and succeed and win some trophies looking around the teams around us in the top 10 we are quite a few points off you know about eight or nine points away from the top 10 or so man city arsenal villa liverpool are your top four city winning the league comfortably once again we beat norwich in the third round of the fa cup to win 2-1 to progress into the fourth round and then we beat spurs 4-1 on penalties after a free all draw to go into the fifth round of the fa up and then unfortunately guys fulham did beat us 3-1 at home which means we crash out in the fifth round unfortunately guys derby knocked us out 1-0 in the carabao cup i think round two is when we actually start the competition so we actually got knocked out in our first round which is really disappointing real madrid won the champions league in season one porto won 2-1 against Fenerbahce to win the europa league and real betis won the conference league 1-0 so then guys just want to show you the stats for the end of the season and Cunha, playing from central attacking midfield got 23 goals being our top goal scorer timber from center mid got 10 goals and 3 assists which is really good to see on his first season with us Gomez the youngster 21 years of age 74 overall 8 goals this season I think he's going to be a really good player for us in the seasons to come and then all round just players getting goals here and there so you know what it's a bit of a disappointing start to this Wolves rebuild but we stayed in the Premier League we've got enough quality in this team especially the younger players to then improve I feel like we definitely can improve on 15th in the next season I think we can sign a few more players I'm going to have a little look at the squad next season 
season and see who we need to offload and see if we can bring in some new players. That is season one complete, guys. We're going to go straight into season two with Wolves. We're starting season two, guys. We have a couple of player sales. Guedes, Saar have both left. 15 million for Guedes, 8 million for Jose Saar. And then a couple of other players sold for around 3 million for those two at the bottom. And then all together, we're now at around 85 million pounds for season two. We've got a lot of money to use. I'm going to go out and get a new goalkeeper, left winger, and maybe a new striker. I think they're the three main positions I want to try and get and focus on for this new season with Wolves. We will be starting off, guys, signing a goalkeeper in season two. Sam Johnson obviously has left and so has Jose Sarr. So we need to get a new goalkeeper in. And Lafont is going to be the man. He comes in at 9.5 million pounds from the French League. Highly rated keeper that a lot of people have used over the years in career mode. He's now 26 years of age. 77 overall i think he's gonna be really key for us in the coming seasons only 9.5 million pounds spent i think that's quite cheap for a goalkeeper and it leaves us with 75 million pounds to spend on other positions i'm gonna go out now and try and get myself a new left winger and a new striker third signing of season two is here guys and we've got ourselves a new left winger like we wanted to do malik fafana has come in from leon for 16.2 million pounds a 20 year old is actually 76 rated 16.2 million from leon 92 pace on that left hand side obviously we're trying to focus with wing play as the tactical preset so i think a young quick winger is a really good idea to get but fafana comes in 76 over i think he's gonna be a really good player in the years to come we've now got ourselves a new striker another position that we were really looking for in season two and it's none other than lucas beltran coming in for 21.5 million pounds he joins us from fiorentina age 24 78 overall i was going to try and get him last season when he was a bit cheaper but i just decided to stay away from the strikers for the first season but now we really wanted to try and improve that area and he is certainly going to do that 21.5 million pounds spent really good overall stats i think he's gonna be a great addition to this wall side the final signing of season two is here and i've decided to go out and get a new right back in at tommy asu from arsenal we have spent 20 million pounds on him to come in at right back and he's going to go straight into the team and we do have one of the young Lima, the youngster at right back. I think he is good enough, but I think for now we need someone with a bit more experience at the back. 82 overall, 26 years of age. I think he's going to be a really solid addition to this back line. And he comes in with a lot of experience, and especially coming from Arsenal. But he is the final signing of season two. But there you have it, guys. This is going to be the lineup for season two. So we've got a new a few additions in the team. Tomiyasu, Fafana, and Beltran all come in to the starting eleven. Font, Tomiyasu, Fafana, and Beltran all come in to the starting eleven. Still got Timber in the middle with Gomez and Cunha in the ten roll. Gomez, the youngster, out wide. I think he's going to turn into a really good player. But that is the team for season two. Hopefully, we can try and improve on last season's finish. We want to try and start aiming towards that top ten. I'll float around the top 10 position time for season two now guys fingers crossed we can try and improve on last season's finish this team is gonna be really good for us so there's only one way to find out let's dive in to season two finish season two in 14th place wolves have ended on 37 points as you can see it was actually quite close at the bottom of the table leeds norwich and forest are going down burnley brentford fulham us and leicester and bournemouth if you want to include them as well all just about staying up it's, a, uh, it's kind of a slight improvement, but it's not at the same time. 14th place finish for Wolves in Season 2. Liverpool ended up winning the league this season with Arsenal, Spurs and West Ham in the top four. That is a crazy top four there. We started our Carabao Cup run beating Everton 3-0 at home. And then unfortunately, guys, we came up against Arsenal and lost 2-1 to crash out of the Carabao Cup. Turning our attention to the FA Cup now, we beat Blackpool 3-1 at home to qualify into the fourth round. And then we beat Huddersfield 2-1 away from home in the fourth round. Fifth round, we got lucky there. We won 4 three on penalties after a one-all draw against Sunderland. We then beat Everton 3-0 in the quarter-final to progress to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. We beat Manchester City 3-2. We faced Newcastle who beat Liverpool 3-2 in the final. And we've only gone and done it, guys. Wolves have won the FA Cup in Season 2. What an achievement that is, guys. Only the second season of this Wolves rebuild and we've won our first trophy. The FA Cup is a really good one to win as well. I am buzzing with that after finishing 14th in the league, having a nice cup run and winning it in the end really improved our season because obviously finishing 14th 14th isn't the best. A nice cup run there and our first trophy of this rebuild with Wolves. PSG smashed Barcelona 4-1 to win the Champions League this season. Monaco comfortable 3-0 win to win the Europa League. And then Tottenham have won the Conference League in Season 2. So here we are with the stats for the end of the season. Cunha on 12 goals, 15 assists. Really good season for him from centre attack and midfield. Already up to an 82 overall. Beltran up to an 80 rated. 12 goals for his first season with us. Really happy with that. Timber 81 overall now. 11 goals from central midfield is really, really 
really good. Fafana, the new signing, 10 goals from left wing. Another one that I'm really happy with. Gomez as well, getting a couple of goals this season. Already up to a 76 overall. Really think he's going to turn into a really good player for us. And another load of players getting goals here and there for us to help with the squad. So we end season two with a trophy in our hands. FA Cup is Wolves in season two. Really happy with that. Obviously, league table wasn't the best finish. 14th in the league. But we managed to get our first trophy in this rebuild. And we're going to try and improve the squad into season three and hope to try and get some more trophies. We start season three, guys, with a new centre-back signing. Did think I needed a new one, so I've gone out and got a new 83 overall centre-back. It's none other than Kevin Danzo from Lens. £26 million spent. He is coming in at an 83 overall. He is 27, but he's going to be playing alongside Beraldo, who is 22. Comes in, gives us a bit more experience at the back. 83 overall, which I really like. And I think £26 million is a really good deal for a centre-back of his calibre. Here we have the final signing, guys, of Season 2. We have the final signing of Season 3, guys, and it's going to be a new right winger to help Gomez in our right wing. We've brought in Marcus Edwards for £32.2 million from Fiorentina. He is going to come in to help Gomez to have a bit more experience in that right wing position. I feel like Gomez is going to be a really good player for us in the seasons to come. I just wanted to go out and get someone who's a bit... I wanted to go out there and get someone who's ready now and is good enough to get us more goals and help us climb that table. Edwards would come in and be our new right winger. This will be your team for season three, guys. And I think this team is starting to really improve. Obviously, Danzo coming in, Edwards coming in as well. I really do think these guys are going to help us improve and climb up that league table. With Cunha, Bel Beltran, Gomez, Timber, all going up in the ratings, same as at Nori. I really do think we can try and push up the table now. We've got a lot of talent on the bench as well, if we do need that for Season 3. So, we are going to dive straight into Season 3 now. Like I said, we already won the FA Cup. Really want to try and get a break through the top 10 now and push into maybe a Conference League place, if possible. I think the basis of this team is really good now. So, we've got Season 3 coming up now. Goal is to try and get 10th or in the top 10. So, let's see how we get on in Season 3. The end of Season 3 is here, guys, and as you can see, Wolves have finished 13th in the Premier League. It's a slight improvement from last season. We've climbed a couple of places in the league table. 12 wins, 8 draws, and 18 losses. 44 points for the season. We're edging closer to that top 10 finish, which I'm actually quite happy with this season. We unfortunately, lost 4-1 to Liverpool in the Community Shield. We also crashed out of the FA Cup in the third round against Sheffield Wednesday, 2-0. Second round in the Carabao Cup as we lost 3-2 to Man United, so no cup runs in terms of the domestic leagues this season. But I completely forgot that obviously Obviously, because we won the FA Cup, we got put into the Europa League. And as you can see, we finished fifth in the table. Eight games, six wins, two losses, 18 points. Really nice to see. That puts us straight into the round of 16. Round of 16 time, we won 5-3 on aggregate after one all draw in the second leg against Victoria Pleasant. We then beat Villarreal 4-3 on aggregate after a 3-1 away win in the quarterfinals. We then faced Chelsea and won 3-2 at home in the second leg to put us into a 4-3 aggregate, which means we do face Man City in the final of the Europa League in season three. Oh, we're only going to done it, guys. We beat Man City. 2-1 in the Europa League final to win our second trophy of this Wolves rebuild. We can tick off our first European trophy. The Europa League is Wolves. Absolutely buzzing with that. That's two trophies in the first three seasons of this rebuild. The FA Cup and the Europa League to tick off. Now we need to try and focus on the league and try and get up that league table. You know the stats for this season. Cunha's up to an 85 after 22 goals and 15 assists. Really good return from him. Beltran with 17 goals, 7 assists. He's an 82 overall now. Edwards, 9 goals, 3 assists for him. Timber again scoring a few goals and a few assists from midfield and then a lot of squad players just getting in on the goals here and there. So I'm absolutely buzzing with that. A Europa League trophy in season three. Obviously again slightly improving in the league but obviously that is the main goal we want to try and push up in the league table. But now we go into season four and hopefully we can try and improve our league form and we can try and get into the top 10. Obviously we've got Champions League next season because we qualified through the Europa League. The main goal will be the league position. I want to try and get into the top 10. Potentially top six if we can get some good signings which is what we're going to kick off in season four so let's dive into the transfer window in season four and see if we can try and climb the table first signing of season four is here guys i've gone out and got a new left-sided center back because the one that we currently have is wanting to leave the club I decided to you know what just sell him and go out and get a new left-sided centre-back. 
Murillo has joined from Crystal Palace for £32.5 million. He's actually an 82 overall, 25 years of age, I think is an excellent signing. He's going to be pairing up with Danzo, who's playing on the right-hand side of the centre-back. Really, really keen to use Murillo in this Wolves team, and he'll slot into that left centre-back role. We have gone out and got a new goalkeeper, guys, because I just think Lafont hasn't really impressed me so far since he has joined. But I've decided to go out and get ourselves a new goalkeeper. Philippe Jorgensen has joined from Chelsea for £35.6 million. He's 84 rated. 25 years of age obviously considerably younger than a Lafont. Lafont just hasn't really improved hasn't really impressed me I thought you know Champions League football now and trying to challenge for a top 10 finish in the Premier League we needed to bolster our defense so we brought in a new center back and a new goalkeeper now I really do think these two are going to really help us solidify our team we have sold Joao Gomez for 35 million pounds unfortunately he just wasn't really impressing me and I feel like I could just cash out and get someone better we now have about 70 million pounds to go out and get ourselves a new centre mid we'll be playing alongside Timber and we have gone out guys and got the Joel Gomez replacement a new young centre mid coming in from Sweden this Hugo Larsson coming in from Frankfurt in the German league 48.3 million pounds has been spent on Hugo Larsson 23 years of age 84 overall he's got really good stats and he's going to link up and play alongside Timber for season 4 so here you have it guys your team for season 4 Jorgensen Tomiyasu Danzo Murillo and Altnori as the defence Arsenal, the new signing comes in with Timber and Cunha. Bafana, Beltran and Edwards are the attacking front three. I think next season we could potentially look at getting a new striker. Obviously, Fafana's still younger and he's got time to improve, but we need to hurry up because we are trying to demand a lot at Wolves here. We've already won the FA Cup and the Europa League. Our aim now in this season four is to try and get a mid-table or higher finish in the Premier League. And dive into season four now and see where Wolves can finish in the Premier League. So we come to the end of season four, guys. And as you can see, Wolves have finished eighth in the Premier League. A massive improvement from previous seasons as we finish on 62 points in the Premier League. Newcastle and West Ham and Chelsea even quite close to us in the positions above us. So eighth position, massive improvement. I'm not sure if that qualifies for Conference League or the Europa League. I think it is Conference League. But I will be corrected when we get to the next season. Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal and Villa are your top four for this season. We beat Leicester 3-1 in the FA Cup third round. We then beat Blackburn 3-2 at home to win in the fourth round of the FA Cup. And then unfortunately guys, Chelsea walloped us 3-0 in the fifth round of the FA Cup. So we crash out there. We beat Forest 2-1 in the Carabao Cup second round. We then beat Crystal Palace 4-3 on penalties after a one-all draw. And then Bournemouth then beat us on penalties after a one-all draw in the fourth round. So we crash out of the Carabao Cup just there. Man City ended up beating Bournemouth, who got to the final, who knocked us out. So it's not too hard done on us there. And Bayern Munich beat us in the Super Cup 3-2. Now then, the all-important Champions League. We came 15th in the league phase, which means we will have to go to the playoff phase. And we beat Villarreal 5-4 on aggregate after a 3-2 second leg victory at home. Put us into the round of 16 of the Champions League. And unfortunately, guys, we got wallop 6 6-4 on aggregate against PSG after a 3-2 second leg loss so unfortunately we do crash out of the round of 16 in the champions league PSG actually went on to the final but they got beat by real madrid 2-0 napoli beat lazio 2-1 in an all italian final in the europa league victoria pleasen did win 5-3 on penalties after a one-all draw to win the conference league this season so as you see Cunha ended on 39 goals and 10 assists 87 overall now he's turning into an absolute beast ultran 84 overall 16 goals five assists for him larson in his first season for us 83 overall nine goals and six assists from central midfield edwards on the wing eight goals four assists and then a lot of other players just getting goals here and there fan is now up to an 81 with seven goals and six assists but overall a much improved season in terms of the premier league finish i'm really happy with the finish that we got i think the team is gelling very well now and it's growing as you can see in terms of the ratings of these players now we actually had a good little try in the champions league but i think we're a couple of seasons away from that now our attention turns to season five but we need to try and keep improving in the league and hopefully trying to aim for a top four finish. We're into season five now in this Wolves rebuild and I've decided to go out and get a new right back to replace Tommy Asu. Tino Livermanto comes in from Newcastle for £60 million. Pounds. Now with Tommy Asu, he's age 29 now and he just hasn't really improved since I first signed him. Another one that just disappointed me and just hasn't really affected the team as I wanted them to. We've gone for someone younger and someone with a better rating. Tino Livermanto, 25 years of age, 85 overall, 89 pace, 60.7 million pounds, and he will be our new right back for season five. We've decided to do a massive swap deal, guys, and it involves our striker Beltran, who is now leaving the club and joining Leipzig because Johan Bonny is 
is coming in from Leipzig. It's a straight swap deal. 24 years of age, comes in at 82 overall, 87 pace. He'll be our new striker. Beltran, 27 years of old. Beltran was 27. He was 84 overall. He was pretty good for us. I mean, Cunha was outperforming him from center attack and mid. I wanted to go out there and try and get someone a bit younger and a bit more reliable. So Bonnie has come in. He is our new striker for season five. So we head into season five, guys, and this is going to be the lineup for the following season. Jorgensen is actually injured at the moment, so the font will come in to replace him for the next couple of games. Miramento, the new signing, comes in at right back. Danzo, Murillo, and El Nori as the back up, as the rest of the defense. We've got Timber and Larson in midfield. Really happy with the first season that Larson did have. Cunha is now up to an 80 year overall, 29 years of age. He's in his prime years. We've got Edwards on the right still, and Fafana on the left, 23 years of age now. He's really improving. In the past season or so hopefully he can improve this season as well a new striker bonnie comes in 24 years of age 87 pace i think he's gonna be a really good striker for us so that will be the team for season five guys hopefully we can try and climb up the league table and get in that top six finish that we want if we can try and push for a top four that'd be amazing that is the team let's dive in to season five with wolves we've come to the end of season five guys we've finished eighth in the premier league once again this wolves team slowly getting there because look at the league table we were so close to getting a top six finish Arsenal, City, Liverpool, Chelsea make up the top four of Arsenal winning the league this season. We beat Swansea 5-1 in the third round of the FA Cup. Then lost on penalties to Crystal Palace 4-2 after a 2-2 draw. We lost to Carlisle 2-1 in the Carabao Cup second round, which means we have an early exit in both cup competitions this season. PSG beat Barcelona 1-0 to win the Champions League in Season 5. West Ham won on penalties against Roma to win the Europa League. Newcastle United beat Real Betis 3-1 to win the Conference League this season. Cunha, 23 goals and 13 assists this season. The final of 11 goals, 5 assists. Last one with 10 goals, 85 overall now. Edwards, I think I'm going to sell Edwards next season. He just hasn't really done anything for us. Bonnie, for some reason, hasn't played this season, which is really frustrating. I'm not sure if he's been injured or anything. And then we just have a lot of players just getting goals here and there for the squad. Unfortunately, guys, that is really not good. Cunha's now a 90 overall, though. I think we need to improve on a, another 8th place finish. A bit annoying that Bonnie didn't get any games this season. But he did score 9 goals in those 3 games, which is absolutely outstanding. So guys, we are going to have to go into the transfer market. I think I'm going to sell Edwards. I might look at moving on for Fana. He is quite young, but he just hasn't blossomed into the player that I thought he was going to. Let's dive into season six with Wolves and see if we can try and get that top four finish. And we're going to go start by signing some new players. Season six transfer window has come to an end. And like I said, I was going to get rid of Edwards and we have done that. 45 million pounds to Liverpool. Fafana, another one. I just wasn't really, I just didn't have the patience for him anymore. I've given him a good few seasons, five or so seasons with us. And he just hasn't really improved that much. We sold him to United for 45 million pounds. We then went and got Gabriel Martinelli from Real Madrid for 66 million pounds. Really happy with this one. He's a really good player. Uenda as well, 65 million from Bayer Leverkusen. I think those two on the wings are going to be really dangerous. We also got a backup keeper for £20 million just because Lafont did leave us, so I need to go out and get a new backup keeper. So £20 million spent on him. Overall, I'm very happy with the transfer window that we have just done in Season 6. I'm going to quickly show you what the team is going to look like the next season with Wolves. This is going to be your team for Season 6, and it is absolutely insane. Jorgensen, Livermento, Danzo, Murillo, and Nori. Backline has not changed at all. Midfield hasn't changed. We have brought in Martinelli and Q as well on the wings i really hope these guys can improve us this season i think the goal for us now is to try and finish in the top four and hopefully go on another cup run to add to our collection already i think we've got a good chance of getting in the top four with this team the new additions of martinelli and quenda on the wings i think these two are going to be very dangerous for wolves this season as you can see guys wolves have finished fourth in the premier league which means we have champions league football once again this season a massive improvement once again for wolves finishing on 64 points just beating spurs two the fourth place position man city won the league chelsea second west ham in third really really happy with this this wolves team is really coming together now and the team is really gelling we started our journey in the fa cup against burnley we drew 2-2 and then we won 7-6 on penalties we beat grimsby 2-0 in the fourth round of the fa cup and we beat preston 2-1 to reach the quarterfinals we beat bristol city 3-2 which means we have reached the semi-finals of the fa cup and we beat west ham 2-1 which means we will face cardiff city as they beat not 
Nottingham Forest on penalties. And we've only gone and done it, guys. We have won the FA Cup 2-0 against Cardiff City. Another FA Cup trophy to add to our collection. That's the second time we've won this in this Wolves rebuild. We've won the FA Cup twice and the Europa League, which is absolutely buzzing. We beat Norwich 3-1 in the Carabao Cup this season. Then we beat Swansea 2-1 to progress to the fourth round. And then, unfortunately, Brentford beat a 7-6 on penalties after a one-all draw. We were in the Conference League this season. We finished 16th in the league phase, which means we do go into the playoff rounds. And we beat Hearts 6-2 on aggregate after a 3-1 second leg victory at home to progress into the round of 16. And as you can see, guys, we absolutely smashed Rakow 5-0 on aggregate, 3-0 away from home to go into the quarterfinals of the Conference League. And then, unfortunately, guys, we got pumped by Leipzig 4-0 on aggregate, 2-0 at home. Unfortunately, we did crash out of the quarterfinals in the conference and Leipzig actually went on to win it 1-0 against Como. Chelsea won the Europa League 2-1 against Lille and then AC Milan beat Arsenal 2-1 to lift the Champions League trophy this season. Cunha is now up to a 91. Look at the return on this. 33 goals, 27 assists. That's an absolutely insane return. Martinelli, the new signing, 27 goals and 11 assists in his first season with the club. Bender as well, 23 goals, 9 assists. Age 23, 86 overall now. He looks insane. Bonnie, again, not playing many games. I think I'm going to sell him next season because he's asked to leave. I'm just going to sell him and get rid of him because obviously it's not worked out here, which is unfortunate. Timber again getting a couple of goals for us. Really happy with that. And Larson as well. Look at that. 86 overall now. He has developed into a great player. There you have it, guys. A top four finish and an FA Cup trophy to add to the collection, which means we have Champions League football next season. I really think we can try and add a couple more world class players into this squad and then aim for that league title and also try and have a Champions League run as well. So with that being said guys we are going to dive into season 7 now with Wolves. Really really happy with the way this rebuild is turning out. We've got another big season ahead and hopefully we can try and add more trophies to the collection. So let's dive in to season 7. So then guys the transfer window for season 7 has come to an end and we have been busy with some big big signings. Bonnie went to Juventus for 60 million like I said he wanted to leave and he hasn't been playing for us so I just decided to sell him. It's just unfortunate I thought he was going to be a really good player for us but it just didn't work out. So we replaced him with Kareem Kanate from Leipzig for £90 million. He's 87 overall. He looks like an absolute beast. I'm really excited to use him in this Wolves team. We then went and picked up Delict, 63 million, but I didn't realize he was actually injured for like three, four months. That was my fault for not checking that beforehand. He didn't actually pop up, so I was a bit confused when I tried to put him in the team and he just wasn't there. So what I did, I panicked and I used him in a swap deal for in that so i panicked and i used him in a swap deal plus 27 million pounds for inacio from frankfurt and he's actually kind of young he's a bit younger and he's a bit better than delict is so he's going to be playing in the center back role i thought you know what danzo is 31 now and he's not really improving he's gonna be a good squad player to keep but inacio comes in and he's gonna be playing alongside inacio comes in in the center back role Kanase comes in up front so two really big signings for wolves in season seven so here we have it guys this is gonna be your team for season seven it is absolutely stacked now jorgensen in goal livermento out nori as the wing backs murillo comes murillo is still there at left center back inacio comes in at right center the back. Larson, Timber, Cunha as the midfield three. Wenda, Martinelli on the wings and then Konate comes in up front. This team is absolutely stacked. I really do think we can challenge for the league this season. Also got that Champions League in mind to try and win. We've got two challenges ahead of us and we hopefully can complete them in season seven. Let's dive into season seven and see if we can try and win that Premier League trophy. Would you look at that guys? The end of season seven is here and Wolves are the champions of the Premier League. We just beat Liverpool and Man City to the title. Two points in it we finished on 75 points absolutely buzzing with that we have finally ticked off the premier league trophy in this wolves rebuild we have won a fair few trophies already and adding the premier league to that is really really good i'm so happy because this team has really turned into an absolutely insane team we lost 1-0 against Man City in the Community Shield, unfortunately, guys. No FA Cup run this season because Luton beat us 3-2 in the third round of the FA Cup. We beat Middlesbrough 4-3 on penalties in the third round of the Carabao Cup. We beat Bolton 2-1 in the fourth round. We then beat Brighton in the quarterfinals 2-1. And unfortunately, guys, Chelsea beat us 7-4 on aggregate to go into the final. And they ended up winning, beating Arsenal 2-0. Champions League now that we actually finished Champions League league phase Wolves finished 28th which means I don't think we even get the playoff round I'm just looking at the playoffs here guys and we are not there so that means we didn't even make the playoffs in the Champions League Venice did actually end up winning the competition so next season we really need to try and improve our Champions League run if we want to try and win that Champions League trophy Union SG beat Brian 2-1 to win the Europa League this season 
Anderlecht won 4 3 on penalties after a 1 0 draw against Sevilla to win the Conference League. Cunha finished on 38 goals, 20 assists, now 94 overall. He is 32, but I think he's still got another season to help us lift that Champions League trophy. Martellani, 89 now, absolutely insane returns for him. Arsenal up to an 87, 13 goals, 7 assists from centre mid. And then the team is just really improving with these ratings. I'm really happy with how the progression has come since season 1. I mean, look at Cunha, 94 overall now. That being said, guys, we do have one more goal that we want to achieve, and that is winning the Champions League trophy. We're going to head into the 8th season of this Wolves rebuild now as we look to try and win that Champions League trophy. So that is the goal, the Champions League trophy, the last trophy we want for this Wolves rebuild. We have now come the eighth season with Wolves. We're into season eight and we've made a massive signing, guys. We brought in a new centre mid to replace Timber. And it is Gavi joining from Dortmund for £105 million. He's coming to the end of his contract. He's 90 overall, 26 years of age and £105 million spent. He will be playing alongside Larson, and Timber will drop to the bench. We have made another signing, guys. It's going to be a new left-sided centre-back. We've done a swap deal with Chelsea. Murillo has gone the other way. Hitchler has come in from Chelsea for £45 million, pounds, plus Murillo, age 23, 86 overall. He's going to be playing on the left-hand side of the defence. I think it's a really good pickup, guys. Youngster, left-footed, 81 pace. Murillo has gone the other way, and we have replaced him with Pitchler. So here you have it guys, season 8 and this is what the starting lineup is going to be. Jorgensen in goal, Livermento, Inacio, Pichla and Elt Nori are the defence. Gavi comes in to play centre mid with Larson. Punya in the 10, now 94 overall. Martinelli and Cuenda on the wings and Konate up top. This team is absolutely insane. We only have one more goal in mind and that is to win the Champions League this season. Without further ado guys, we will be diving into season 8 now. and We have our eyes set on that Champions League trophy. But hopefully we can lift it in season eight we've come to the end of season eight guys and wolves have finished third in the premier league you're a fair few points off man city and chelsea who finished joint on 83 and chelsea won the league this season we beat aston villa to win the community shield this season we also won the fa cup against newcastle 2-1 unfortunately guys we got knocked out of the quarterfinals in the champions league against atletico madrid here are the stats at the end of the season obviously Cunha once again being the main man render as well 90 overall now really happy with the way he's progressing same with canate 88 overall 21 goals this season for him and martinelli also getting a lot of goals this season so the team unfortunately didn't win the league this season won the fa cup and community shield and fell short in the champions league so we're gonna have to go into the ninth season and try and win the champions league in that season so without further ado let's get into season nine with wolves we're now into season nine guys and i have had an absolute nightmare with this team Unfortunately, I forgot to renew the contracts for Altnori, Larson, and also Martinelli who, and Livermento, who also isn't in the squad, as you can see. So I had to go out and buy Pedro Porro, Barcola, and a new goalkeeper as well, because Jorgensen also left. And I just don't have enough money to buy anyone else. But this is what we're left with. Unfortunately, I just didn't have enough money to buy a new left back or centre mid. So Doyle and Bueno, who have both been here since season one, have had to come back into the team nine years later. I just don't have any money, and I've... I just don't know what else to do. I've just messed up completely. I forgot to renew the contracts of all the first team players. Obviously, the players that are still here, they had contracts and they were not expiring. And everyone has decided they've all left on a free transfer. So I've absolutely messed up with the squad this season. But we've still got some absolutely insane players. I mean, Cunha, Barcola, Gavi, Canate, Cuenda. The team is still solid. It's just the centre mid and left back are just not very good. But that's what we've got to deal with. No real transfers apart from obviously Poro has the new goalkeeper and Barcola have all come in. We're going have to go into season nine with a couple of rogue players hoping that we can try and get that champions league trophy obviously we were close last season getting knocked out in the quarterfinals but it's our last chance i feel to get this champions league trophy without further ado let's dive in to season nine we're here at the end of season nine guys and as you can see wolves have won the premier league once again i'm actually quite surprised by this i don't think we had it in us to win the premier league but we've absolutely smashed it only losing three games throughout the whole season i'm really happy with this second premier league trophy in this rebuild with wolves we did unfortunately lose the community shield once again to chelsea we only made it to the quarterfinals of the fa cup before palace knocked us out 3-2 we lost in the final to man city in the carabao cup that would have been our first time winning the carabao cup unfortunately we didn't win it this time round 
round is the main one though the champions League. we finished eighth in the league phase which means we do go into the round of 16 we then beat leipzig 7-4 in aggregate after a 4-3 victory up in the second leg at home into the quarterfinals we went and we beat inter milan 5-3 on aggregate after a 5-2 second leg which is really good obviously just scraping back in the second leg there and we absolutely battered real madrid 7-3 on aggregate after a 5-0 second leg win at home i can't believe that which means we will face juventus in the champions league final guys i'm absolutely buzzing to finally get to the champions league you know we came close last season i thought we had it obviously we lost a fair few players this season but the team around us has carried us to this champions league final we also won the premier league this season which ticks off premier league twice in this rebuild we actually won a fair few trophies in this rebuild but the last one that we need is this one with you the last one we need guys is the champions league hopefully we can try and beat juventus in the final and we'll see if we can lift the champions league trophy stats for the end of the season guys Konate with 37 goals he overtakes Cunha for the first time in a few seasons Cunha still 93 overall 34 he is the captain 36 goals hopefully he will be lifting that Champions League trophy at the end of this video and then a lot of our players just getting goals here and there which is good to see we've got one more task guys the Champions League hopefully we can try and win that now we're going to quickly run through the team that is going to be facing Juventus in the final so then guys this is going to be your Champions League final team Pazingol, Poro Insigno, Pichler, Bueno, Gavi, Doyle, Cunha, Canate, Quineda, and Barcola. Very strong lineup. Obviously, Doyle and Bueno not the best. But look at the rest of the team. They have carried us through the season, and it actually shows because we won the league. We got to the Champions League final. So, guys, this is it. The Champions League final is here against Juventus. Let's see if we can lift the Champions League trophy. Oro in again. He slides it in to. Oh, it's a goal. Canate. I didn't even know who it was. I honestly didn't realise who that was. And we've scored in the first 10 minutes of this Champions League final. Pedro Porro has had a great start to this game. He's played in Canate. I didn't have a clue who I had the ball with. I thought it was Barcola to start with, if I'm being honest. But the ball has been played in from Porro. Canate, one touch. And he drills it into that far corner to put Wolves 1-0 up inside the first 10 minutes of this Champions League final. Oh, Barcola's done brilliantly to press the defence there. He's through on goal. I don't know what to do. Go himself, Barcola. Can he score? It's Bradley Barcola. He makes it 2-0. Wolves are flying in this Champions League final. Juventus giving the ball away on the halfway line. It's poor defending and Bradley Barcola has capitalised. And we've made it 2-0 in this Champions League final. Juventus just keeping the ball but can just want it back. That's a lovely play from our captain. Going to slide in. Canate. Down the line to Barcola. It's Bradley Barcola. Can he cut inside? Cut Barcola. Oh my god, that's a great save from the keeper. Our seconds of the game now. 2-0 should be enough to win the game. And it is. Wolves have won the Champions League. We have finally won the Champions League with Wolves. It's been a long season. It's been a long rebuild. We managed to win the Champions League after a goal from Canate and goal from Barcola. And there you have it, guys. Wolves have finally won the Champions League. That ticks off the last trophy that we were needing in this rebuild. Two Premier Leagues, three FA Cups, a Community Shield, a Europa League, and now a Champions League with Wolves. Mateus Cunha, the man of the rebuild. He has been absolutely amazing for us. The captain, he's been here from Season 1. And Wolves are your Champions League winners in Season 9 absolutely love this rebuild walls are a really fun team to rebuild i hope this can reflect in real life how they can try and turn it around but this will now be the end of the video guys if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new around here i really appreciate the support on all the videos that have been out since fc25 has been released the channel is growing so much and i love the support and i love making the videos so they will keep coming i can assure that without further ado thank you for watching and i'm out Peace.